Make an Ender Dragon breathe fire. Check. You can sit and drive it. Check. Destroy buildings. Check. And also comes down for you. Check. All of this in vanilla Minecraft. What's up guys, John Poole here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is the second part of making rideable ender dragons and we're go gonna be covering fire breathing dragons. So before that, I only have a few subscribers that watch my videos. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and click the bell into all. And let's get right into it. So this is where we've left off. And we now, we're now able to ride the ender dragon but it's kinda laggy. I said that I will fix it in this video. Yeah, as you can as you can see it's kinda wonky and it's actually not teleporting right. So let's fix it later. So if you only want one dragon in your world, it's kinda buggy, right? So I recommend you using only one. So if you want to limit your ender dragons like only to one, you don't want to, get a repeating command block and a chain command block and paste them like this. I'm gonna type scoreboard objectives add detect dummy. Now we added a scoreboard that has the name of detect and we're gonna copy this scoreboard and inside in it, you're gonna paste it inside in it. Then control S. Now you're, you're gonna copy in it and you're gonna rename in it to detect. So this is gonna be the one that detects if there are two ender dragons. Now go inside main, you're gonna copy the only command here, and you're gonna change the face rate to detect. And inside detect, you're gonna remove the commands inside there. Inside the repeating command block, you're gonna type execute store result score dragon detect if entity at e type ender dragon. Now, this command will now detect how many ender dragons are there in your world. Then, always active. Then, so normally, one ender dragon would only have nine. Since, as you see here, there's 18 because there are two of them. So only one of them has to be 9. So the second chain command block, we're gonna type in execute if score dragon detect matches 10 and above. So as I said earlier, the normal one was only 9. And run kill add e type ender dragon. It has to be sort for this and it has to be limit 1. And then you're gonna copy this command and you're gonna paste it in the detect mc function file we created earlier. And we're also gonna paste the second command as well in the, in the detect mc function file. So these are the two commands that you copied earlier. So you're gonna copy these two commands like three times. In the second command, you're gonna change the type Ender Dragon. And you're also gonna rename it to tag equals spacing. Same as well here. And you're gonna change the dragon 
into um, maybe like facing and facing too. Now in the third copy, you're gonna rename it to tag equals dragon C. Rename here as well, comma. And then you're gonna change the dragon into um, maybe like uh, dragon C, like that, and dragon C, yeah. And on the fourth copy, you're gonna change it to tag equals dragon. And tag equals dragon. And I'm gonna change this into like horse or dragon stand. Yeah, that's a good idea. Dragon stand. So, so you're gonna change these 10 into two, the three of these copies. And control S, save it, and you're done. So inside the game, you can see now. If you do reload, you can see now these four thingies. If you summon an ender dragon, as you can see the number changes. So if you summon an armor stand for example, as you can see it turns to 2 and turns back to 1. It kills it. See? So the numbers won't change anymore. So now if we go out on the dragon and yeah. It throws us away so we want to have an attribute like a knockback resistance so that it won't punch you away so so I'm gonna do execute as at a run attribute at s then like uh, knockback resistance minecraft generic knockback resistance base set I'd like it in uh, a very high number like 1 million or oh, yeah 1 million and always active so whenever we will get off it won't throw us away now then you're gonna copy this attribute command that we made earlier then go to main and you're gonna paste it below here control s to save it and reload now that's gonna work This time we want the dragon to come down to you, so so you're gonna type execute as at e with the tag of um, facing then at at s position position and to our location and negative one and if block is air Therefore, you're gonna run tp at s and you're gonna go negative point point one, and you're also gonna add negative 1.15 here. So, always active now. As you can see, the dragon is now going down. So, let's say you left your dragon above, and it automatically comes down for you. So we're almost done, you're gonna copy this command and you're gonna paste it in the main mc function below the attribute and here we go, control s to save it and we're done. We don't need the command block anymore since it's now in the data pack. So when we write it and yeah, it comes down for you. now to finally fix this laggy thing that keeps on lagging whenever you ride the dragon yeah you can also ride this in survival mode so go to face ray and you're gonna copy all of these three commands like control a and control c copy all of them and paste them below like the same commands and you're gonna control s to save it or save and then type reload so as you can see I'm not lagging anymore yeah there we go it's now smooth 
The rotation of the dragon is now smooth. And yeah, this is how we wanted it. Now we want it to breathe fire. Oh, and before that, you can actually adjust the speed of the dragon. Here you can see 0 0.9, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. You can change this into like 0.7 to 0 0.9. I recommend you not doing it too much. And reload. So that's how you adjust the speed of the dragon. And yeah, we want these guys to be burned. So get a repeating command block. I'm gonna type particle which so 1 and 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.7 then 170 force. So if you turn this to always active, you're gonna see this particle command. Yeah. So we're gonna copy this command and we're gonna change this to dragon breath. And we're gonna change 70 to 40. And change 1 to 0. So you're gonna copy one of these guys here and you're gonna paste it here and re rename it to burn. Uh, yeah, that's how I name things. And go to main. Then you're gonna copy this again and change the detect to burn. Then go inside burn, remove all the commands inside there. And so we're gonna copy the switch particle command inside burn and also this dragon breath command inside burn. To add this long command, so execute as add E the tag of facing add, add S run execute as add E add, add S then run again then this the particle command and you're gonna copy that command and you're gonna paste it here so that's how it would look same as here so you're gonna put a distance here with like dot dot 8.5 and you're gonna copy this do it as well in the bottom so if we copy one of these commands like this switch particle command we're gonna put it here and turn it on as you can see it's now if we get near it it will particle us yeah and we still need to fix that after the distance we're gonna add type you know put an exclamation mark and you're not gonna include a player and you're gonna type again type then exclamation and ender dragon you're not gonna include the ender dragon and type equals armor stand exclamation you're not gonna include the armor stand and that's pretty it uh, and also type items and type item frames uh, where is it Oh yeah, the horse, the horse, yeah, the horse, you're not gonna include the horse too, you're also gonna add comma, type, exclamation mark, horse, and now it works, so if we summon villagers here, as you can see, they get fire breathed, uh, and it looks like the dragon is breathing fire, like purple fire, And we're gonna copy the command that was very long and we're also gonna copy it it's the same as here we're gonna copy the distance until the horse we're gonna copy you know, change the distance and add the long command we made earlier I'm sorry if I'm really fast it's really hard to explain this but I think you should replay it again so let's continue so we're gonna copy execute until run and you're gonna type kill 
So we're gonna kill the long command. So from here until the horse. Where's the horse? Here we go. We're gonna copy that command. We're gonna paste it after the kill. Here we have it. And then Control S to save it. And let's try it out. Save. And we don't need this command left anymore. So. And it works. It kills the villagers nearby. And it also gives a particle effect. So if your ender dragon is stuck or you want to kill it, you probably need to make a custom kill command. This is how you do it. So first copy one of this and you're gonna rename it to kill. Then inside kill you're gonna remove all of the commands inside here. Then type kill add e type equals ender dragon. You're also gonna want to kill the tag dragon, the horse. And kill at a tag dragon seat the horse and kill at a uh, facing the facing armor stand. These are the four things. So if we do reload, function, right dragon, and kill, and it kills the ender dragon. Now you're finally done. You can now copy this data pack into your other worlds and you can probably kill mobs and I'm stuck. comes down and it's gonna burn this villager so if you've made it up until the end of these two videos about incredible ender dragons i'm really proud of you and thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and see you in the next video bye